Hello everyone. It's our pleasure to share our solutions in the VizWiz Answer Grounding Challenge this year. I would like to give a video recorded presentation of our work in VizWiz Answer Grounding. From left to right, our team members are Ringang Li, Yakian Zhao, Hongwei Kan, Zhenhua Guo, Baoyu Fan, Runs Zhang and Ziochu and Li, respectively. I will introduce our work from the following aspects. VizWiz Answer Grounding dataset comes from the VizWiz VQA. VizWiz VQA stands for a dataset including photos taken by blind persons with one recorded spoken question and 10 crowdsourced. The answer grounding task aims at grounding answers to visual questions asked by people with visual impairments. As shown in the image above, the question is asking the relevant brand of the product and the ground truth is the just the brand area. There exists a similar task named referring image segmentation. For the common referring image segmentation, the text caption may just be the silver bag and not care about the detailed information on the bag. The text caption in the referring image segmentation has direct link to the ground truth mask area while there exists no direct link for the vis with answer grounding. We focused on the answer importance because it may be the anchors connecting the question and the image like the object tags in the Oscar model. Last year, we designed the method directly combining the VQA answers into the MDETR model and achieves excellent performance, which verifies our idea above. This year, as the research for the large language model emerges, lots of multimodal models draw on the reasoning power of large models. We employed the BLIP2 model and combined the BLIP2 with the uninext model into an end-to-end -end framework. The experiment showed that the framework can help achieve better performance. The framework uses the frozen image encoder and frozen large language model. Here we use Flint 5XXL and bridge the modality gap using a Qformer module. The output from the T5 model connects to the uninext model, a universal instance perception model. Finally the segmentation map is obtained throughout the transformer decoder in the image. So the whole pipeline consists of two stages. Firstly, the BLIP2 VQA model training and secondly the end-to-end -end training phrase combined the BLIP2 and the uninext model. We trained the BLIP2 model according to the paper. The pre-training consists of the vision language representation learning stage and the vision to language generative learning stage. For the VQA finitening, the Qformer module receives the question as a condition, such that the extracted image features are more relevant to the question. The training details are as follows. The image encoder is VIT giant model coming from EVA clip and the LLM model is Flint 5XXL model. The pre-training data is the same as the blip paper and the pre-train image size is 224 while the finitune image size is 480. The pre-train iteration is 330k. Batch size is 1680 and the initial learning rate is 5e4. In the second stage, we trained our end-to-end -end answer grounding model. We employed the pre-trained unitext model weights on the object's 365 datasets as the initial weights for the uninext model part and used the finitune blip 2 VQA model weights as the answer generation model part. We replace the output from the uninext prompt generation module with the blip 2 T5 encoder output. Finally, we trained the whole model on the RefCoco series datasets and the VizWiz answer grounding datasets. Through the challenge, we summed up the relevant tricks for the VizWiz answer grounding. Firstly, the answer anchors play an important role in the answer grounding compared to the common referring image segmentation. Secondly, when finitening on a dataset with limited size, finitening the model on a larger dataset may sometimes reduce the gap between the pre-training phase and the final finitening phase. Finally, also the most important, the end-to-end -end large language model can enable emerging capabilities such as visual knowledge reasoning, which greatly boosts the performance. Thanks for watching the video.